وَلَقَدْ جَاءَ آلَ فِرْعَوْنَ النُّذُرُ وَلَقَدْ جَاءَ آلَ فِرْعَوْنَ النُّذُرُ كَذَّبُوا بِآيَاتِنَا كُلِّهَا فَأَخَذْنَاهُمْ أَخْذَ عَزِيزٍ مُقْتَدِرٍ Assalamu alaikum guys. Well, I'm starting the vlog here. Even though there is probably nothing for me to vlog today because I'm going to uni. I have five lectures in one day, like five proper lectures. So it's not looking good. And then after that, I'll only have a little bit of time to go to the gym, go to the spa, do my thing, and then come back home. And then I have like four hours of tutoring. So some days um, it's just busy. So, you know, that's... Uh, that's it really but you know what they say keep yourself busy with the halal so the shaitan doesn't keep you busy with the haram I know I'm cutting down weight. I'm still below my calorie deficit and I haven't eaten outside for a long time. So I think I deserve this one. Eating this means I have to be on a cut for the rest of the day. We had like five lectures today. So the other guys went to the lectures and I'm going to take my time and just eat. Bismillah. Because it carries on to the um, prior to the tour, it's literally just deep no difference, except that's why it's just like all on the side. So we basically wait for nothing. <laughs> cold, cold. Okay, it's because you understand nothing, that's why. No, <laughs> I was sleeping. That? The reason being they submitted is because they Right guys, we got Afghani food, but I'm back in, uh, pizzas Yeah, I mean Assalamualaikum Salam. Let's eat guys The reminder I want to share with you guys today is pertaining to the issue that's going on in Gaza and Palestine um, And this is uh, pertaining to the Treaty of Hudaybiyah The Treaty of Hudaybiyah is very interesting actually If you look at it, um, that the Prophet Salam has a dream And in his dream is that he tells the companions that he's going to go and do Hajj I think it's Hajj or Umrah for that matter he is heading towards and they are preparing and you need to understand Hajj for these people are something great, it's something big It's not like us on a train uh, or a plane with there in 5-6 hours So they are preparing, they are going there and as they are going there They have been confronted by Khalid bin Siddiq and he's telling them that do not come any further They camp in Hudaybiyah And then obviously the Quraysh hear this news and they send Suhail bin Amr And Suhail bin Amr is coming basically to set some conditions in place to the Muslims And one of the first ones is what? You are not going to do Hajj this year. Number two, anyone that comes from Mecca to Medina, you have to send them back to us who's a Muslim. Who's left us, you have to send them back to us. Number three, anybody from Medina who wants to leave Islam, they can leave freely and come and join us. Now, if you think about it, when all of this chaos is going on, the companions have told, have believed to the Prophet ﷺ that they were going to do Hajj. And that didn't happen to me. They had been told that they are not doing Hajj. There is no Hajj. Not only that, as the treaty is about to be about to happen, Suhail bin Amr's son. No. Mommy, one second, Baba. There you go. Suhail bin Amr's son runs away from uh, being locked up and being tortured by his father, Abu Jandal. He runs. And imagine he sees the Muslims and he's thinking, you know what? I am going to be free now. I'm going to be saved. But what does Suhail bin Amr say? He says, We have signed the treaty. And we said, What? Anyone from the Quraysh. From us that comes to join you, you have to give them back to us and he's the first one we're taking back. The Muslims are now handing a believer to the Mushrikeen who could even potentially torture him. And the point is what? All of this chaos, amidst all of this chaos, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends a revelation of Surah Fat, Which is what? That Allah says, and indeed we have given you a clear victory. Now anybody that's in that situation, they were supposed to go Hajj, they're not going Hajj. They are being told that they have to send believers back to the Mushrikeen. What kind of thing do you think that's going through their mind? That's not success. They are not seeing that as success. They're seeing that as absolute chaos. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sees the future which they do not see. And that's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent Surah Fat saying that 
Indeed, we have given you a clear victory, and it was in Treaty of Hudaybiyah, and the things that uh, um, took uh, that happened in the future, which opened the gate of them conquering Mecca. In a nutshell, the point is what? When things look gloomy and dark, and it doesn't make sense, and everything is against you, you just know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has a plan that you cannot see with your limited mind. And know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promises the truth. And in the Hudaybiyah where none of the companions could even see. And they were in despair and angry. But rather when they conquered Mecca, they realized how important Hudaybiyah was. That's what I will say to you guys, inshallah. In a nutshell, assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. <laughs> I like this speech so far. Brothers and sisters, nothing like this has happened ever before. This is a time for all of us to do whatever we can, inshallah. Dua, dua, dua. Dua seems like the, the least of our abilities or the least of what we can do, but it's actually the greatest in the sight of Allah. Or I think you said later on in winter. So you don't even know what I said you're making as you go along. I, I, I can't remember. I think I remember, kind of. You weren't there. No, bro, when we went to start the house. Okay, what did I say? Actually, I forgot. I want to run, bro. No, say something. No, 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 I don't want one. No, no, I don't want one. No, you have to can't say No, I can't take one now because after all of this, there's some camera. Was I not already planning to get one? This is Jarima, yeah, Habib. Yes, that's true. Actually, he's in the list. He's on the list. He's on the list. You've got the list, right? I have got the list. But you're on the list. I want to run. I wore it in summer at night when the cold air is crisp at Fajr's time, shape beautiful. Allahumma barik li hadha al-akh. Ameen. Ameen. Wa rizqahu, wa ilmahu, wa amalahu, wa minahu, wa zujatahu. Ameen. Wa hifdahu lil-Qur'an. Ameen. Wa talabuhu lil-ilm. Wa kathalika kullu ma yuhibbuhu, Allahu wa rizquhu. Hadha, wa rizquhu kathalika a'la al-jinani fi al-jannah. Ameen. Wa rizquhu rizak. Ameen. وارزقه كذلك أربع نساء ليش؟ ثلاثة كثير يا شيخ والله كثير طيب. والله أربعة كثير طيب. والله طيب. كثير سعودي يقول والله كثير اثنين على ألف خذ حبة يا حبيبي وخلاص ومت معها no I'm not like that I like it should change يعني إذا أنت صادق في من محبتك لي هذه المرأة لا تتزوج عليها خلي أنت وهي فقط so Rasulullah wasn't. Yeah, I know. This is the Rasulullah. Rasulullah mubtaat min Allah. I'm a man who's trying to change the world, so I need as much support and children as possible. So let's do this new man thing. Let me just. What's it called again? I've never worn one in my life. It's called topi. No, we saw in the book. Sahab Mutarab. Ah, topi ya in. No, in the book. In the book. We need to rub. Mutarab. They arrived. I feel really bad. He needs to rest. No, no, no. He just he genuinely needs to rest. 